Ever been stumped by the dreaded, what are your salary expectations question during a job interview? If so, you're not alone. This question can often lead to a wave of uncertainty and fear. It's a delicate balance, isn't it? You don't want to undervalue yourself, yet you're wary of scaring off potential employers with a figure that's too high. Let's take a look at Sarah's story. Sarah is a senior software engineer. She's highly skilled and has a wealth of experience under her belt. Despite her impressive resume, she found herself in a conundrum when faced with the salary expectations question. It wasn't that she didn't know her worth, it was more about how to articulate it without jeopardizing her chances of landing the job. Navigating this question can be a challenge, but don't worry, you're not in this alone. Now, let's delve into Sarah's strategy, which helped her successfully navigate this tricky question. Sarah's approach was multifaceted, combining research, self-assessment, and negotiation skills. First off, Sarah didn't go in blind. She researched the market value of her role in her location. This is crucial, as it gave her a realistic understanding of what she should be earning. And it's not just about Googling. It's about digging deep, understanding the industry trends, the demand for her skills, and the economic landscape. She also took the time to assess her unique qualifications. Not just her technical skills as a senior software engineer, but also her experience, her specialization, her accomplishments. She understood the value she added to any team she'd be part of, and that boosted her confidence. Then came the salary expectations. Instead of stating a single figure, Sarah provided a range. This is a clever move. It shows flexibility without underselling her worth. It also opens up the conversation for negotiation, which is a key part of any job offer discussion. Throughout the process, Sarah remained confident and open. Confidence comes from knowing your worth and being prepared to advocate for it. Openness, on the other hand, is about being receptive to feedback and willing to negotiate. Sarah's strategy is not unique, but it is effective. Let's go through the key takeaways. Sarah's tale gives us several important pointers for handling the salary expectations question. Her strategy, one that can be applied universally across job roles and industries, is founded on five key pillars. Firstly, she did her homework, researching the market value of her position. By understanding the industry standard, she could confidently navigate the salary discussion. Secondly, she assessed her personal qualifications. She didn't just consider her technical skills, but also her experience and unique abilities that add value to her role. Thirdly, she provided a salary range, not a fixed number. This showed flexibility and opened up room for negotiation without underselling her worth. Next, she maintained her confidence throughout the process. Remember, if you don't advocate for your worth, who will? Lastly, she stayed open to negotiation, understanding that sometimes the offer might include benefits beyond just the salary. Remember, it's not just about the salary, but also about advocating for your worth and considering all aspects of a job offer. The salary expectations question doesn't have to be a stumbling block. By embracing a strategy based on preparation, confidence, and negotiation, you can navigate this part of your job search with ease. Remember, knowing your worth is key. Understand the market value of your role, assess your unique qualifications, and don't shy away from stating your salary range. Like Sarah, you can advocate for fair compensation and consider factors beyond salary when accepting job offers. And that's how you tackle the salary expectations question like a pro, just like Sarah. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tips and tricks for your career journey.